Hey there Diviers, Brody Dorland here with a quick video to walk you through our 3.0 calendar interface. It's here! There's a ton of new features and improvements packed into this new interface, so let's unpack some of it, shall we? Starting at the top, you'll see that we've kept all of the filtering options that you all know and love, and have even expanded to include a status filter. But as you start working with the filters, you'll notice that you no longer need to apply each filter separately. Let's say I'm the head of digital marketing for a corporation, and I'd like to create a filtered view to display campaigns and content deadlines for our digital channels. So I'll narrow this standard view down to our web, email, and social calendars. As I make these adjustments, did you see that bright green filter button activate on the right? That single button will now apply all your filters. So from your new filtered view, orange highlights tell you which filters are currently active. You can also now save this custom view and give it a name for easy access later. I'm going to call this my digital master calendar. Anytime I come back, I can select this custom view from this dropdown and get to work. The next thing you'll notice, especially if you're a heavy user of campaigns, is that we've added an expand and collapse function for long running campaigns that display at the top of the calendar. Previously, a busy month with 20 or 30 campaigns running all at once would get overwhelming and eat up too much screen real estate. Now you can expand the list or hide it to get it out of the way. Next up, we've added our 3.0 slide-in sidebars to give you a preview of content items, tasks, or campaigns. Just single-click an item on the calendar to drill into its details, comments, attachments, or production tasks. Lastly, we've replaced the parking lot panel with a new panel that includes all unscheduled content. You can browse your list of parked ideas, or you can drag and drop a planned piece of content that hasn't made it on the calendar yet. Okay folks, that's probably enough content calendar goodness for one video, but trust me when I say there is more to see. Hop into DiviHQ today and see for yourself how easy it is to manage the chaos of a busy content production schedule. If you have any feedback for us on the new interface, we'd love to hear it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and happy divvying!